our previous speaker, the Executive Director for SDGs Kenya Forum, our CSOs present, my colleague representative of government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning again. I'm indeed uh, honored to be in this gathering today. We are happy to be part of this conversation and the series that is beginning today where we can partner with um, CSOs, non-governmental organizations and donors to make sure that the agenda of our people is taken forward. I bring in warm greetings from my boss, His Excellency Governor Stephen Sun, who, uh, because of his uh, key role in the Council of Governors and uh, the induction program underway in Naivasha, he was not able to join us, but he has asked me to deliver warm greetings to you. Um, I come from county number 29. We pride ourselves in being the source of champions. We are the home of Eliud Kipchoge, Amos Kipruto, and the many, many, including the, the legend, the first, Kip Kano. Kip Kano comes from Nandi. And the reason why we, we, we call ourselves the source of champions is that we are not only champions in the space of athletics. We champion many good things for our people and therefore one of the uh, innovative ways that we went out of our way to provide for citizen engagement is to have a call center. And that was one of the first things we did in 2018, 19. And it has become a platform where citizens can get information about our county government, our programs, our services. Now, two years ago, uh, through the guidance of His Excellency Governor Sam, we enrolled on to open governance, the OGP program. And we are one out of the four uh, counties that have enrolled into open governance. And we are taking this uh, to the next level. We have had partners, or, uh, Open Institute is one of them, who has brought us partners who are assisting us in technical capacity building. And uh, through their support, we were able to launch our data desk earlier this year. The capacity building is ongoing. Uh, our department so, uh, heads are providing data onto the platform and therefore right now you can actually access the Nandi portal and be able to get some of the information, although it's work in progress, uh, it's something that we commissioned after these uh, recent elections, uh, even though we launched the, the data desk before nominations, we were, we've only been able to now to uh, to seriously and aggressively uh, populate our portal with data. One of the things we believe in as a county administration is the use of data to inform planning and to inform decision making. I've been asked to bring forward what our priorities are. To get some of the information, although it's one in progress, I'd like to, uh, oh. it's something that we commissioned after this uh, recent first that apart uh, even from though we fully launched the data desk education before the national level, we were the only in educational training to seriously address the mainstay of the population based economy. Data. And one of the things we believe uh, help as a result of administration priority for us is the use of data because when we came into office in 2017, we realized that was our weakest link as a people. Bring and we put in a lot of our, our, our resources. One for, I'd like it to, uh, for physical uh, infrastructure uh, development and for human resources. That are uh, apart from capacity building and also increasing the education in other level, level, we've actually increased vocational our training, our budget under health for our resources on main skills, agro based economy. Uh, the end in the, uh, the intervening is a major priority for us as an economic uh, infrastructure. So we came into the government in 2017. We realized that was the previous link as a people. 
and we put in a lot of fast our resources, of Nandi, both for the physical uh, people, for physical uh, infrastructure, uh, development, uh, 33, and for human and resources. resources. Uh, we have been capacity building and also increasing the workforce in under 200. We've actually tested our classrooms. We have another 22 and 220, and then we have another 20 that are at various uh, levels. The, in the intervening period also we have tried to uh, enhance the other uh, people's infrastructure, we increased our uh, human resources at that level. And in, in the previous yes. we inherited a workforce at that level of about 800. We have to raise that to 1,300. We have also to uh, transition to construct 33 to P classrooms. Terms. We have been able to Besides that, we also have a vocational two training center and instructors. Plus, we have also and we have another permanent actually 220, and then we have another 20 that are at various levels. We need to increase the workforce in that structure. But we are progressing uh, our thing. The other thing was what we did, we increased our one of the human resources at that level. The other things that we have we done, we inherited the education that that level to provide 800 teaching and learning resilience to 1,000 We have also transitioned that is something that we have uh, we, we are continuously uh, providing. For the Besides that, we also have a vocational training center instructors and 10.